Hi everyone and welcome to this week's update from Parkinson's Queensland. Now if you haven't received the latest edition of our Connections newsletter, do let us know. If you requested it in hard copy, it should be in your letterbox by now. If you requested it electronically, it should already be in your inbox. If it's not, maybe check your spam folder to make sure that it hasn't gone into there. But if you haven't received it, give us a call, send us an email, we'll happily send you out a new version. There are some really interesting updates in this month's edition. Now, I wanted to quickly touch on a topic I discussed last week, and that is, as many of you know, some of our support groups have started to meet again in social settings, mainly in cafes and restaurants, in small groups, uh, to reconnect. Now, if you're not comfortable meeting in groups, that's okay, we're going to be continuing our virtual support group meetings, and of course, we've got our telephone peer support program up and running. If you are venturing out, though, please remember to observe the health guidelines, that is, to keep physically distant, that's one and a half metres from the person next to you, so two big arm lengths. Uh, also to remember your hand hygiene, wash your hands regularly with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer. And of course, if you're not feeling well, please stay home, contact your doctor, and if necessary, go and get tested. If you are out, of course, make sure that you keep your distance, particularly if anyone is coughing or sneezing, so that physical distance is really, really important. No hugging or kissing and no sharing of food. If we do all of these things, we'll keep each other safe. And of course, we'll be able to continue with some of those social activities that I know many of you enjoy. Now, next week, we've got a fantastic webinar. We have Faith Lucas from ADA Australia coming in to talk to us about My Aged Care. Now, she'll, she's going to share with us the services that are available, how you can access those services, the processes involved, and of course, Faith will be on hand to answer any of your questions. So if you'd like to register for that, visit our website, click on the link. It's really easy to register or give our office a call. Wednesday, 10 a.m., Faith Lucas from ADA Australia talking about My Aged Care. And now, those of you that have been keeping an eye on our social media might know that uh, this week we went out and asked you a question. How old were you when you were diagnosed? And we were really, really pleased with the response. Thank you all for sharing, and thank you for sharing some of your stories as well. What's really exciting now is that we have a new volunteer in our ranks, a lady by the name of Judith Maisie. And Judith is a journalist, uh, and her father passed away from Parkinson's a couple of years ago. Her best friend has recently passed away from Parkinson's as well. So she has a really unique experience of Parkinson's disease. Given her journalistic skills, Judith is going to be coming in and she wants to sit down with many of you and write down your stories. Uh, we want to be able to capture your stories, your Parkinson's journey, whether you're a person living with a disease, whether you're a carer, or even if you're the grandson or the granddaughter of a person with Parkinson's. We want to know and understand what daily life is like, what some of your experiences have been. We want to do that because we want to raise awareness in the broader community. And one of the best ways to do that is to use real stories of real people that are dealing with the challenges of Parkinson's disease every day. So if you're keen to share your story, please get in touch with the office. Let us know. We'll put you in touch with Judith. She'll make it really easy for you. She can do it uh, over virtually, uh, over a screen or over a cup of tea if you're up for that as well. Uh, and we look forward to hearing from you and, and to, um, to hearing your stories as well and be able to share those stories. Now, last week... Uh, I touched on the fact that this video is now going out to a much broader audience than the Parkinson's community and I started to share some facts about Parkinson's disease. I'm going to continue that this week and I'm going to talk a little bit about the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And that there are primarily four symptoms uh, and that is uh, shaking or a tremor, um, rigidity uh, or stiffness, uh, slowness of movement uh, is another one, and difficulty with balance. They are the four main symptoms of Parkinson's disease, which is why last week I said that there is no pathological test to identify Parkinson's. It has to be done by a neurologist, by a specialist, uh, who can look at some of those symptoms. The other interesting thing is that, of course, uh, no one person is exactly the same in terms of the, systems they, the, the, the symptoms they will display. Uh, the severity of those symptoms and whether they will have one or more of those. So it's a very, very unique disease to each individual. Um, I just wanted to share those couple of points this week. I'll share some more next week. 
and hopefully for those of you outside of the Parkinson's community, you can learn a little bit more about the disease. If you want to find out more, give us a call. We have a lot of information about Parkinson's here. And of course, those of you within the Parkinson's community, community we're here for you. We're here to support you. So please give us a call. We are all in this together uh, and uh, we want to be part of that journey. So that's all from me for this week. Have a fantastic rest of the week. I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Thank you.